My name is Mark Williams and I run a company in Melbourne called uh, Low Bake Australia. We uh, primarily make spray booths and baking ovens as well as stainless steel uh, cupboards and kitchens for paint uh, kitchens and mixing rooms etc. Um, we bought uh, the Smart 4000 machine about six months ago after seeing it in the Sydney trade show. Uh, we looked at European imported equipment as well as some other locally made equipment but we chose the Smart uh, basically because of the support uh, ex Brisbane and of course uh, our price was an issue as well and of course the features of the way the machine was made. Um, we originally bought the machine to do duct work because uh, we do a lot of duct work in our, in our product here uh, but uh, having um, used the machine and set it up we now find we're cutting uh, plate work a lot of 4 mil uh, and 6 mil uh, for brackets and other fittings that we make um, because we also run a turret punch here but we find the machine is a lot easier to set up um, and program when comparing to a turret punch. We also investigated lasers but due to the high cost of running a laser and of course the high purchase price uh, we didn't go down that track uh, too long. The machine came to us in a, in a kit set form where we basically had to bolt the base uh, and an extraction unit uh, together. Uh, we supplied our own exhaust fan and ductwork. Um, the instructions were quite clear. We had a fair bit of help over the phone um, when we needed it and it, it took us approximately a day to bolt the, the main frame and uh, machine together with another day to install the duct on the extraction. Um, after that we did a two day training session with the software company um, who set the machine up and we, we were off programming and, and cutting. We selected with the machine Hypertherm as a plasma unit which obviously is the uh, leading brand. Uh, consumables are readily available here and of course uh, the machine works well. Mark, uh, could I ask uh, how, have you, how have you gone learning to use the machine and uh, being able to set it up for different jobs? I personally were involved in the learning of the software because I wanted to know how to use it. So um, obviously it's not my full time role to run and program this machine but after a couple of days programming um, I picked it up fairly quickly. I have an advantage that I can draw in AutoCAD so that made it fairly easy for me to create the DXFs quickly and then import them into the machine. But basically the, the, the package is, is a worldwide standard, uh, telephone support's available and I found no real issues with it. Mark, before you purchased the Smart 4000, can I ask, uh, did you look at other products on the market that were similar? Uh, we did. Originally we, we looked at another Australian made product, uh, but we, we decided to go with ART. Uh, build quality in my opinion was better and of course uh, uh, after seeing demonstrations of, uh, of equipment that they had in the field, we felt comfortable and confident with the supplier. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's interesting to note that um, we did the deal at a trade show basically and um, the, the advised delivery date was smack on, which is unusual because um, it actually surprised me, me because as a manufacturer uh, we always have problems with lead times etc etc but they were smack on a delivery which is important. Um, we also did look at um, European uh, equipment but basically uh, the European equipment that we looked at was more than twice the price and I was not comfortable with the support of machines through a, a, a welding supply vendor and basically that's where they come from. Um, and uh, we wanted to get a machine that was made here so we could get the parts and the support. The last thing we wanted was a European uh, product that came through a welding gas supplier um, who dropped the agency six months later and left us high and dry. We've had problems with other m m m pieces of equipment where that's happened to us. So it was very important that if the technology was available in Australia, we wanted to buy Australia. This morning we've been cutting uh, four millimetre plate steel and uh, how would you describe the quality of the finish that we're getting off the four millimetre steel? Well at the moment I can't believe the quality of the cut. Um, the machine as I said is only six months old um, providing the consumables are up to spec we don't uh, anticipate anything to change we are getting nearly as good as laser quality on the thicker material 
Um, we're not obviously travelling the same speeds, speed that a laser would do, but in our business the speed isn't the issue. It's the CNC repeatability of the product and the speed to do a small production run. Um, and, and the other thing that's of interest to us on this machine is the fact that we do cut RHS uh, slots and sections and round circles in RHS. Um, none of the lasers we looked at could do that type of work. During our practice this morning, we were cutting 0.75 millimeter galvanized sheet metal, and uh, that's for your ducting work, isn't it, Mike? Right. Yeah, yeah. The, that's one of the beauties of the machine. You can you can cut uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.75, and then two minutes later, cut six mil. Uh, and of course, uh, another advantage of this type of machine, when we compare it to a turret punch, is the noise. Um, the machine virtually runs silent, apart from the, your extraction fan and, and the and the uh, noise of the plasma cuts, but there are no vibrations or annoying um, metal punching that we do experience with the plasma, uh, with the uh, tar punch, which is an interesting point. And how would you describe the cut quality that we're achieving on the on the galvanised sheet metal? Well, once once again, um, originally when we started uh, cutting galvanised, we had some issues where the cut wasn't good, but after fine tuning the cut speeds and the setup parameters of the machine, uh, which we've been doing today, uh, it's remarkable. Uh, and if this machine continues to cut this in the future years, uh, we'll be more than happy. The, the, the software with the Smart 4000 is very simple. Um, as I said before, I, I've picked up the programming one or two day sessions. Uh, and of course, you're only dealing with one tool generally, as compared to 22 stations with auto indexing on a tarot punch. So it's very easy to, to set up and use. And uh, could I ask how you find the features on the machine itself, on the touchscreen controller? Um, look, the, 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 the features are very easy to use. Uh, you basically turn the thing on um, because it has obviously a computer in there rather than a, a dedicated uh, machine controller. Shut down and start up is very simple and, and of course uh, very reliable. Um, we don't have any issues or problems in, in operating it. A lot of people comment about the advanced features on the touchscreen, like uh, moving and rotating. Have you found any advantage in those? Uh, if we want to change on the fly, or restart it, stop it, spin components around, or, or, or run multiples, copy them, rotate them, it's all done by the small touchscreen on the end of the arm of the machine. Very simple, very easy to use. The, the package is, is a worldwide standard. We are getting nearly as good as laser quality. I can't believe the quality of the cut. Basically, it's a, it's a simple machine to use, fast to program, and economical to run, which is important.